Negotiable Instruments Law Memory Aid Based on the outline of the 1994 edition of Campos and Campos Contents Definitions P1 Negotiability P1 Transfer P2 Holder in due course, P3 defenses and equities, P4 liabilities of parties, P5 discharge, P8. Definitions Negotiable instrument Written contract for the payment of money, by its form intended as substitute for money and intended to pass from hand to hand to give the holder in due course the right to hold the same and collect the sum due. Promissory note Unconditional promise in writing made by one person to another signed by the maker. Engaging to pay on demand, or at a fixed or determinable future time, a sum certain in money to order or to bearer. Where a note is drawn to the maker's own order, it is not complete until endorsed by him. Bill of Exchange Unconditional order in writing addressed by one person to another signed by the person giving it. Requiring the person to whom it's addressed to pay on demand or at a fixed or determinable future time a sum certain in money to order or to bearer. Check, bill of exchange drawn on a bank payable on demand. Kinds of checks, 1. Personal check 2. Manager slash cashier's check, drawn by a bank on itself. Issuance has the effect of acceptance 3. Memorandum check, memo is written across its face, signifying that drawer will pay holder absolutely without need of presentment for. Crossed check. Effects, a check may not be in cashed, but only deposited in bank B, may be negotiated only once, to one who has an account with a bank. C. Warning to holder that check has been issued for a definite purpose so that he must inquire if he received check pursuant to such purpose, otherwise not HDC. Kinds, a general, no word between lines, or co, between lines, b, special, name of bank appearing between parallel lines. Bear a person in possession of a bill, slash note payable to bearer. Holder pay or endorsee of a bill, or note who is in possession of it, or the bearer thereof. The life of a negotiable instrument, 1, issue 2. Negotiation 3. Presentment for acceptance in certain bills 4. Acceptance 5. Dishonor by on acceptance 6. Presentment for payment 7. Dishonor by non-payment 8. Notice of dishonor 9. Protest in certain cases 10. Discharge. Negotiability. Requisites 1. In writing and signed by maker or drawer. No person liable on the instrument whose signature does not appear thereon, subject to exceptions. One who signs in a trade or assumed name liable to the same extent as if he had signed in his own name. Signature of any party may be made by a duly authorized agent, no particular form of appointment necessary. 2. Unconditional promise or order to pay. Unqualified order or promise to pay is unconditional though, coupled with a, an indication of a particular fund out of which reimbursement to be made, or a particular account to be debited with amount, or be the statement of the transaction which gives rise to the instrument an order or promise to pay out of a particular fund is not unconditional. A sum, certain in money. Even a stipulated to be paid a, with interest, or b, by stated installments, or Commercial Law, Val Feria, Mina Herrera, Gary Mollery, and Rachel Ramos. Barops 99. C. By stated installments with a provision that upon default in payment of any installment slash interest, the whole shall become due, or D. With exchange, whether at a fixed rate or at the current rate, or E. With costs of collection or an attorney's fee, in case payment not made at maturity. 3. Payable on demand. When expressed to be payable on demand, or at sight, or on presentation. When no time for payment expressed. Or where an instrument is issued, accepted or endorsed when overdue, it is, as regards the person so issuing, accepting, or endorsing it, payable on demand. Or at a fixed or determinable future time. When it's expressed to be payable at a fixed period after date or sight, or on or before fixed or determinable future time fixed therein, or 
on or at a fixed period after the occurrence of a specified event, which is certain to happen, though the time of happening be uncertain. An instrument payable upon a contingency not negotiable and happening of event doesn't cure it. Asterisk relate to sector 11, presumption as to date, and sector 17, construction where instrument ambiguous, asterisk note effect of acceleration provisions, p. 30 Campos asterisk note effect of provisions, extending time of payment, page 40 Campos. 4. Payable to order. Where it is drawn payable to the order of a specified person, or to him or his order. May be drawn payable to order of A, a pay not the maker slash drawer slash drawee, or B, you drawer or maker, or C, you drawee, or D, two or more payees jointly, or E, holder of an office for time being. When the instrument is payable to order the payee must be named or otherwise indicated therein with reasonable certainty. Or bearer. When expressed to be so payable. When payable to person named therein or bearer. When payable to order or fictitious slash non-existent person, and such fact known to the person making it so payable, or when name of pay doesn't purport to be the name of any person, or when the only slash last endorsement is in blank. 5. Where addressed to drawee, such drawee named slash indicated therein with reasonable certainty. Bill may be addressed to two or more drawees jointly, whether partners or not but not to two or more drawees in the alternative or in succession. Bill may be treated as a PN at option of holder, where a drawer and drawee are same person B, drawee is fictitious slash incapacitated. Effect of additional provisions general rule, order slash promise to do any act in addition to the payment of money renders instrument non-negotiable. Exception, negotiability not affected by provisions, with C1. Authorize sale of collateral security if instrument not paid at maturity 2. Authorize confession of judgment. 3. Waives benefit of any law intended for advantage slash protection of obligor 4. Give holder election to require something to be done in lieu of money. Continuation of negotiable character until 1. Restrictively endorsed 2. Discharged by payment or otherwise. Transfer. Delivery. NI incomplete and revocable until delivery for the purpose of giving effect thereto. As between. A. Immediate parties B. A remote party other than holder in due course delivery, to be effectual, must be made by or under the authority of the party making slash drawing slash accepting slash endorsing. In such case delivery may be shown to have been conditional, or for a special purpose only, and not for the purpose of transferring the property in the instrument. Presumption of delivery, where the instrument is no longer in the possession of a party whose signature appears thereon, a valid and intentional delivery by him is presumed until the contrary is proved, asterisk if in the hands of a HDC, presumption conclusive. Page 2 of 8. Barops 99. Negotiation. When an instrument is transferred from one person to another as to constitute the transferee the holder thereof. If payable to bearer, negotiated by delivery, if payable to order, negotiated by endorsement of holder, plus delivery. Endorsement. Indorser generally enters into two contracts, one, sale or assignment of instrument two. To pay instrument in case of default of maker. Seconds 31, how endorsement made. Sector 41, where payable to two or more. Sector 43, Endorsement, where name misspelled. Sector 48, Cancellation of Endorsement. Sector 45, 46, Presumptions. Endorsement must be of entire instrument. Can't be endorsement of only part of amount payable, nor can it be to two or more endorsees severally. But okay to endorse residue of partially paid instrument. Sector 67, Liability of Indurser, where paper negotiable by delivery. Sector 63, When person deemed Indurser. Kinds of endorsement A, as to manner of future method of negotiation 1. Special, specifies the person to whom slash to whose order the instrument is to be payable. Endorsement of such endorsee is necessary to further negotiation. 2. Blank, specifies no endorsee, instrument so endorsed is payable to bearer 
and may be negotiated by delivery. The holder may convert a blank endorsement into a special endorsement by writing over the signature of the endorser in blank any contract consistent with the character of the endorsement. B. As to kind of title, transferred one. Restrictive. Prohibits further negotiation of instrument. Constitutes indoor C as agent of endorser or vests title in indoor C in trust for another. Rights of indoor C in restrictive IND. Receive payment of INST. Bring any action thereon that endorser could bring. Transfer his rights as such indoor C, but all subsequent indoor C's acquire only title of first indoor C under restrictive endorsement too. Non restrictive. C. As to kind of liability assumed by Inderser 1. Qualified constitutes Inderser as mere assignor of title, for example. Without recourse, 2. Unqualified. D. As to presence slash absence of express limitations put by Inderser upon primary obligor's privileges of paying the holder 1. Conditional, additional condition annexed to Inderser's liability. Where an endorsement is conditional, a party required to pay the instrument may disregard the condition and make payment to the indoor C or his transferee, whether condition has been fulfilled or not. Any person to whom an instrument so endorsed is negotiated will hold the same slash proceeds subject to rights of person endorsing conditionally to Unconditional Endorsement of bearer inst where an instrument payable to bearer is endorsed specially, it may nevertheless be further negotiated by delivery. Person endorsing specially liable as endorser to only such holders as make title through his endorsement. Unendorsed instruments. Where holder of instrument payable to his order transfers it for value without endorsing, transfer vests and transferee one. Such title as transfer had therein too. Right of transferee to have endorsement of transfer. For purposes of determining HDC negotiation effective upon actual endorsement. Holder in due course. Holder sector 191. Rights of holder 1. Sue thereon in his own name too. Payment to him in due course discharges instrument. Holder in due course, requisities 1. Complete and regular upon its face. Sector 124, effect of alteration. Sector 125, what constitute material alterations? Page 3 of 8. Barups 99. 2. Holder became such before it was overdue, without notice of any previous dishonor. Sector 53, demand INST nego after unreasonable length of time, not HDC. Sector 12, effect antedating, slash post dating, 3. Taken in good faith and for value. Sector 24, presumption of consideration. SEC 25, definition. Of value. Sector 26, definition. Holder for value. Sector 27, lien is value, 4. At time negotiated to him, he had no notice, Sector 56 Def, 54 Notice before full amount paid, of A, infirmity in instrument B, defect in title of person negotiating 1. Instrument slash signature obtained through fraud, etc., illegal consideration slash means, or 2. Instrument negotiated in breach of faith or fraudulent circumstances. Rights of holder in due course 1. Holds instrument free of any defect of title of prior parties 2. Free from defenses available to prior parties among themselves 3. May enforce payment of instrument for full amount against all parties liable. Asterisk if in the hand of any holder, note definition of holder, other than a HDC, vulnerable to same defenses as if non-negotiable. Rights of purchaser from holder in due course general rule, in the hands of any holder other than a HDC, NI is subject to same defenses as if it were non-negotiable. Exception, holder who derives title through HDC and who is not himself a party to any fraud or illegality has all rights of such former holder in respect to all parties prior to the latter. Who deemed HDC? Prima facie presumption in favor of holder. 
But when shown that title of any person who has negotiated instrument was defective, sector 55, when title defective burden reversed, now withholder. But no reversal if party being made liable became bound prior to acquisition of defective title, i.e., where defense is not his own. Defenses and Equities Kinds of Defenses 1. Real defense, attaches to instrument, on the principle that the right sought to be enforced never existed slash there was no contract at all to. Personal defense, growing out of agreement, renders it inequitable to be enforced versus defendant. Defenses 1. Incapacity, real, endorsement, slash assigned by corpse slash infant, passes property, but corpse slash infant no liability. 2. Illegality, personal, even if no K because void under CC 1409. 3. Forgery, real, lack of consent A, a forged B, made without authority of person whose signature it purports to be. General rule, A, wholly inoperative B, no right to retain instrument, or give discharge, or enforce payment versus any party, can be acquired through or under such signature, unless forged signature unnecessary to holder's title, exception, unless the party against whom it is sought to enforce such right is precluded from setting up forgery slash want of authority precluded, at parties who make certain warranties, like a general inducer or acceptor B, a stopped slash negligent parties. Asterisk note rules on acceptance slash payment under mistake as applied to 1. Overdraft 2. Stop payment order 3. Forged endorsements. 4. Material alteration. Where NI materially altered without assent of all parties liable thereon, avoided, except as versus a 1. Party who has himself made, authorized, or assented to alteration 2. And subsequent endorsers. But when an instrument has been materially altered and is in the hands of a HDC not a party to the alteration, HDC may enforce payment thereof according to ORIG. Tenor. Material Alteration 1. Change Date 2. Some payable either for principal or interest 3. Time of Payment 4. Number slash Relations of Parties. Page 4 of 8. Barops 99. 5. Medium slash currency of payment, adds place of payment where none specified, other change slash addition altering effect of instrument in any respect. Asterisk material alteration a personal defense when used to deny liability according to org. Tenor of instrument, but real defense when relied on to deny liability according to altered terms. 6. Fraud a fraud in execution, real defense, didn't know it was NI, B fraud in inducement, personal defense, knows it's NI, but deceived as to value slash terms. 7. Duress. Personal, unless so serious as to give rise to a real defense for lack of contractual intent. 8. Complete, undelivered instrument. Personal defense, sector 16. If instrument, not in pos. A party who signed, delivery prima facie presumed. If holder is HDC, delivery conclusively presumed. 9. Incomplete, undelivered instrument. Real defense, sector 15. Instrument will not, if completed and negotiated without authority, be a valid contract in the hands of any holder, as against any person whose signature was placed therein before delivery. 10. Incomplete, delivered. Personal defense, sector 14. Two kinds of writings, one, where instrument is wanting in any material particular, person in possession has prima facie authority to complete it by filing up blanks therein too. Signature on blank paper delivered by person making the signature in order that the paper may be converted into a NI, prima facie authority to fill up as such for any amount. In order that any such instrument, when completed, ma be enforced versus any person who became a party thereto prior to its completion, one, must be filled up strictly in accordance with authority given to. Within a reasonable time. But if any such instrument after completion is negotiated to HDC, it's valid for all purposes in his hands, he. May enforce it as if it had been filled up properly. Liabilities of Parties a. Primary parties. Person primarily liable, person who by the terms of the instrument is absolutely required to pay the same. 
Sector 70, Effective Want of Demand on Principal Debtor 1. Liability of Maker A promises to pay it according to its tenor B admits existence of pay and his then capacity to endorse. 2. Status of draw prior to acceptance or payment. Sector 127, Bill not an assignment of funds in hands of draw Sector 189, when check operates as assignment. 3. Liability of acceptor. Promises to pay inst according to its tenor. Admits the following. Uh, existence of drawer B. Genuineness of his signature C. His capacity and authority to draw the instrument D. Existence of pay and his then capacity to endorse. Sector 191, 132, 133, 138 Formal requisites of acceptance. Sector 136, 137, 150 Constructive acceptance. Sector 134, 135 Acceptance on a separate instrument. Kinds of acceptance. 1. General 2. Qualified A, Conditional B, Partial C, Local D, Qualified as to Time E, Not All Drawees. Asterisk Sector 142, Rights of Parties as to Qualified Acceptance. Certification, Principles 1. When check certified by bank on which it's drawn, equivalent to acceptance 2. Where holder of check procures it to be accepted, slash certified, drawer, and all indursers discharged from L liability 3. Check not operate as assignment of any part of funds to credit of drawer with bank, and bank is not liable to holder, unless and until it accepts or certifies check. Page 5 of 8. Bar ups 99. 4. Certification obtained at request of drawer, secondary parties, not released 5. Bank, which certifies liable as an acceptor 6. Checks cannot be certified before payable. B. Secondary Parties 1. Liability of drawer A admits existence of pay and his then capacity to endorse B engages that on due presentment instrument will be accepted, or paid, or both, according to its tenor and that C. If it be dishonored, and the necessary proceedings on dishonor be duly taken, he will pay the amount thereof to the holder or to an subsequent indorser who may be compelled to pay it. Drawer may insert in the instrument an express stipulation negativing slash limiting his own liability to holder. 2. Liability of indorsers. Qualified indorser and one negotiating by delivery A, instrument genuine, in all respects what it purports to be B, good title C, all prior parties had capacity to contract D, he had no knowledge of any fact with C would impair validity of instrument or render it valueless. In case of negotiation by delivery only, warranty only extends in favor of immediate transferee. Liability of a general or unqualified indorser A, instrument genuine, good title, capacity of prior parties B, instrument is at time of endorsement valid and subsisting C, on due presentment, it shall be accepted or paid, or both, according to tenor D, if it be dishonored, and necessary proceedings on dishonor be duly taken, he will pay the amount to holder, or to any subsequent indorser who may be compelled to pay it. Order of Liability Among Indorsers 1. Among themselves, liable prima facie in the order they endorse, but proof of another agreement admissible, too. But holder may sue any of the indorsers, regardless of order of endorsement 3. Joint payees slash endorsees deemed to endorse jointly and severally. 4. Liability of Accommodation Party. Definition, one who signed instrument as maker slash drawer slash acceptor slash indorser without receiving value thereof, for the purpose of lending his name to some other person. AP liable on the instrument to holder for value even if holder, at time of taking instrument, knew he was only an AP. Liability of a regular indorser. Where a person not otherwise a party to an instrument places thereon his signature in blank before delivery. He's liable as an indorser, in accordance with these rules. 1. Instrument payable to order of 3 RD person, liable to pay, and to all subsequent parties. 2. Instrument payable to the order of maker slash drawer, or payable to bearer, liable to all parties subsequent to maker slash drawer. 3. 
signs for accommodation of payee, liable to all parties subsequent to pay Sadia v. Sevilla rules. 1. A joint and several accommodation maker of a negotiable promissory note may demand from the principal debtor reimbursement for the amount that he paid to the payee. 2. A joint and several accommodation maker who pays on the said promissory note may directly demand reimbursement from his co-accommodation maker without first directing his action versus the principal debtor provided a he made the payment by virtue of a judicial demand b or the principal debtor is insolvent. 4. Liability of an agent. Signature of any party may be made by duly authorized agent, established as an ordinary agency where instrument contains or a person adds to his signature words indicating that he signs for or on behalf of a principal, he is not liable on the instrument if he was duly authorized, but the mere addition of words describing him as an agent without disclosing his principal does not exempt from personal liability. Signature per procuration operates as notice that the agent has but a limited authority to sign, and the principal is bound on L.Y. in case the agent in so signing acted within the actual limits of his authority. Where a broker or agent negotiates an instrument without endorsement, he incurs all liabilities in Sector 65, unless he discloses name of principal and fact that he's only acting as agent. I. Presentment for Acceptance Page 6 of 8 Barops 99 When presentment for acceptance must be made one. Bill payable after sight, or in other cases, where presentment for acceptance necessary to fix maturity too. Where bill expressly stipulates that it shall be presented for acceptance 3. Where bill is drawn payable elsewhere than at residence slash place of business of drawee. When failure to present releases drawer slash inducer failure to present for acceptance of negotiate bill of exchange within reasonable time. Reasonable time must consider 1. Nature of Instrument 2. Usage of trade or business with respect to Instrument 3. Facts of each case. How and when made Sector 145, 146, 147 when excused Sector 148. Dishonor and effects. Sector 149, when dishonored by non-acceptance. Sector 150, duty of holder, where bill not accepted. Sector 151, rights of holder where bill not accepted. Sector 89, to whom notice of dishonor must be given. Sector 117, effect of omission to give notice of non-acceptance. 2. For payment where necessary Sector 70 where not necessary Sector 79, 80, 82, 151, 111 date and time of presentment of instrument bearing fixed maturity sector 71, 85, 86, 194. Date of presentment. Where instrument not payable on demand, presentment must be made on date it falls due. Where payable on demand, presentment must be made within reasonable time after issue, except that in case of a bill of exchange, presentment for payment will be sufficient if made within a reasonable time after last negotiation, but note, though reasonable time from last negotiation, it may be unreasonable time from issuance thus holder may not be HDC under Sector 71. Check must be presented for payment within reasonable time after its issue or drawer will be discharged from liability therein to extent of loss caused by delay. Delay excused Sector 81 Manor Sector 74, 72, 75, Place Sector 73, to whom Sector 72, 76, 77, 78 Dishonor, by non-payment Sector 83, 84. Notice of Dishonor General Rule, to drawer and to each inducer, and any drawer or inducer to whom such notice is not given is discharged. Form, Contents, Time Sector 95, 96, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 108, 113. By whom given? By or on behalf of the holder or any party to the instrument who may be compelled to pay it to the holder, and who, upon taking it up, would have a right to reimbursement from the party to whom the notice is given. Notice of dishonor may be given by an agent either in his own name or in the name of any party entitled to give notice, whether that party be his principal or not. Where instrument has been dishonored in hands of agent, he may either himself give notice to the parties liable thereon, or he may give notice to his principal, as if agent and independent holder. 
in whose favor notice operates one. When given by slash on behalf of holder, ensures to benefit of a, all subsequent holders and b, all prior parties who have a right of recourse versus the party to whom it's given to. Where notice given by slash on behalf of a party entitled to give notice, ensures for benefit of a, a holder, and b, all parties subsequent to party to whom notice given. Waiver Sector 109, 110 Where not necessary to charge drawer 1. Drawer, slash draw e, same person 2. Draw e fictitious, incapacitated 3. Drawer is person to whom instrument is presented for payment for. Drawer has no right to expect, slash require that draw e slash acceptor will honor instrument 5. Drawer countermanded payment. Where not necessary to charge inducer 1. Draw e fictitious, incapacitated, and inducer aware of the fact at time of endorsement. Page 7 of 8. Barups 99. 2. Inducer is person to whom instrument presented for paint 3. Instrument made slash accepted for his accommodation. Protest definition, testimony of some proper person that the regular legal steps to fix the liability of drawer and indursers have been taken. When necessary, Sector 152, Form and Contents, Sector 153, By Whom Made, Sector 154, Time and Place, Sector 155, 156, For Better Security, Sector 158, Excused, Sector 159, Waiver, Sector 111. Acceptance for Honor Sector 161, 131, 171. Bills and Set, 178 to 183. Discharge A. Of the Instrument 1. Payment in due course, by or on behalf of principal debtor. Payment in due course, 1. Made at or after maturity 2. To the holder thereof, 3. In good faith and without notice that his title is defective too. Payment in due course by party accommodated where party is made slash accepted for accommodation 3. Intentional cancellation by holder. If unintentional or under mistake or without authority of holder, inoperative. Burden of proof on party which alleges it was unintentional, etc. For any other act which discharges a simple contract 5. Principal debtor becomes holder of instrument at or after maturity in his own right 6. Renunciation of holder. Holder may expressly renounce his rights versus any party to the instrument, before or after its maturity. Absolute and unconditional renunciation of his rights versus. Principal debtor made at or after maturity discharges the instrument. Renunciation does not affect rights of HDC without notice. Renunciation must be in writing unless instrument delivered up to person primarily liable thereon 7. Material alteration, Sector 124, material alteration without assent of all parties liable avoids instrument except as against. Party to alteration and subsequent indursers. B. Of secondary parties 1. Any act which discharges the instrument 2. Intentional cancellation of signature by holder 3. Discharge of prior party 4. Valid tender of payment made by prior party 5. Release of principal debtor, unless holder's right of recourse versus tune dairy party reserved 6. Any agreement binding upon holder to extend time of payment or to postpone holder's right to enforce instrument, unless made with assent of party secondarily liable or unless right of recourse reserved. 8. Failure to make due presentment, Sector 70, 144, 9. Failure to give notice of dishonor 10. Certification of check at instance of holder 11. Reacquisition by prior party. Where instrument negotiated back to a prior party, such party may reissue and further negotiate, but not entitled to enforce payment versus any intervening party to whom he was personally liable. Where instrument is paid by party secondarily liable, it's not discharged but a, the party so paying it is remitted to his former rights as regard to all prior parties b, and he may strike out his own and all subsequent endorsements, and again negotiate instrument, except where it's payable to order of 3rd party and has been paid by drawer, where it's made slash accepted for accommodation and has been paid by party accommodated. 
Page 8 of 8.